Ash, so. Good afternoon. Welcome to the State Department. Sounds like a nice Fuji Mori agreement of the. We are consulting with our partners in the hemisphere and the international community to determine the appropriate next steps that we'll take. Uh, in response to your question specifically, no decision has been made about any steps uh, to be taken, nor are we presently considering taking any unilateral actions. The state government tries to um, give the validation. Does the U.S. government consider the elections valid or not valid? What I'm saying is we have not made a final determination on steps that will be taken. No, not the steps, just what they We consider. have not made a final determination on steps that will be taken. Mm -hmm. We're consulting with our hemispheric partners and others in the international community. We're using very much the OAS rubric to do this. There's a meeting tomorrow, so it's premature to, to make any further statements than what the President has already said, observations made over the weekend, and what we released this morning. One last thing, I'm sorry. Any other U.S. position? Let me read. How can you say that? I, th I think what we believe is that in view of the, the Peruvian government's refusal to accommodate what were well-documented concerns of the OAS, that the process could not be free and fair, that Sunday's electoral process in Peru was obviously flawed. We're very concerned that, that the action that, that they've taken by the, the government of Peru is a, a break with Peru's commitment to uphold uh, the hemisphere's standards uh, of democratic values and, and uh, practices. I mean, this really impinges on the, the democratic architecture that has evolved uh, in Peru and throughout the hemisphere. West Coast time, having attended to some family business in Arizona.